Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day bringing you more Let's Play Manufactio. I upload a new episode of Modded Minecraft every Sunday at 11 a.m. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified. Smash like if you feel I earned it and also consider leaving a boom in the comment section below. And if you're ready, then let's play with D-Day. Okay, so today what we're going to work on is going to be an excavator for uranium. We found uranium earlier with the core sample drill from Immersive Engineering. Uh, we'll set up a an excavator, which I have in a capsule already, uh, from Immersive Engineering to start uh, digging this stuff out. And then to process the uranium into yellow cake, uh, let's see, right here, yellow cake. What we're going to need is a chemical plant, and that chemical plant is going to need sulfuric acid, which we already have taken uh, necessary steps for. So let's go ahead and jump straight into this one. Uh, from last episode, we did finish an entire advanced bin of the energy cells. So let's go ahead and take this with us. We can move this out of the way for right now. And then uh, over here, this is our uranium that we found. Uranium vein. Cool. So let's go ahead. I set up everything already so you guys don't need to uh, watch me figure out where to put everything. So the excavator episode showed how to put this guy together. So we're down here. Pop one right there. There we go. Yep, looks like I did it right. Let's go ahead and grab our hammer. So we can ping this guy right here. Boom. So there we go. Uh, we're also going to need, what is it? We need hardened flux duct, of course. The hardened flux duct transfers 4,000 RF, which is uh, the amount this bad boy is gonna need. And then one thing I figured out was that the advanced solar generators, they produce more than the quest book says. And let's see. They produce 352.51 RF a tick. So the quest book, I think, says they make 256. So this, we only need a total of 12 uh, advanced solars for one of these excavators to run at full speed. So uh, the iron node here has been empty for quite a while now, uh, and I don't really like that it's connected over here. So I'm gonna tear this guy down and let's see, I need these guys. That's why I came. So let me grab the advanced solars from this guy. And then what I can do is I can tear this guy down later and put it back into the capsule. And uh, that will be the excavator that we use for uh, the titanium in a future episode. So, yeah, so I don't clutter my inventory. Let's just leave it like that for now. Everything here has been set. So I want these guys to face this way. Let's put these guys down. Alright, and then... I guess, yeah, I can face them this, this towards the center. That won't make it here. Whoops. Get a little blood on my project. There we go. And then this this side, of course, right here. And can I reach it? Oh, I can't reach it. Here. Here. And then I guess the other two went into my yeah extended inventory. There we go. So from here, let's see. Power. Right here. Hardened flux duct. We'll go down. Yeah, let's go ahead and go down with it. Boop. Boop. And we're going to go along. Oop, the season changed. We're going to go forward one. And then we're going to go to the side. Yeah, there we go. So that'll reach. Boop. Like this. Connected. Ooh, you know what I should do is I should move... Did I just cut off all of my ways up? <laughs> I didn't. Okay. What I should do is move this part. The bins. And this scaffolding. And this gold chest. We need this because this is the output. 
I think it's going to spit it out onto the ground. If not, we're losing at the moment. There we go. And the five steel scaffolding. Like that. Inserters. Whitelist. Whitelist. Whoops. And let's go bin. And no, I don't want elite bin right here. There we go. Okay. And of course it's sunset. It's always sunset when I'm putting the advanced solars together, guys. Have you noticed that? All right, so what I do know is that this guy is going to start digging up uranium for us, but also uh, it's going to start digging up osmium, uh, as far as I know, unless it's been patched out. So now that we have this, we can put this guy here, and let's close it up too. There we go. Can I reach under? There we go. And lag spike. No lag spike. Like this. Hmm. I'm going to be able to maybe. Let's see. Oh, because of this guy. Okay. Boop. Boop. Nope. How about down? Looks like I'm on this way. Oh, I broke the solar generator from behind. There we go. Alright, so... You... You... And then that's my way up. Let's get rid of this guy, too. And then we need to wrap the cable around this way. So let's go further away from the digging portion. We'll go like this. Yeah, it's not going to connect, but what we can do is like we can wrap around. It'd be the same, right? If I go this way or this way. Oh, and since they're not on the same path, I'm still going to have to. Okay. Bummer. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. So now it's completely glitching out. It's showing an animation oh because it's it it had power inside of each one so there is 356 rf in each that's why it's turning cool and i already lit up everything down here this is where the chemical plant is going to go and then we're going to uh, use chimneys snow brick chimneys and vents and pumps to move in this direction and i'll make a flower field and then maybe I'll do something else down here where we can move the, uh, what's it called? The entire setup that I have over here for these guys. Move these underground, because I'm not really a fan of my little setup here. Alright, so this should be going. We don't need to stop. We do have the, uh, uranium already to progress. Oh, and this is kind of cool. We could go down this way. Can we? Yeah, yeah, cool, okay, that worked. Happy little accident. So what we're gonna do is now we need to route the uh, item from here down under. Like this, let's grab a servo. Boop, boop, boop. And we can drop this off. All right, and then this guy is going to wrap around to over here. And this is where we're going to drop our chemical plant. All right. Good to go. Chemical plant. Oh, yeah. How am I going to figure out which way is the front? Uh, I already forgot. I think... The machine controller is on the right hand side in the front. Nope, I was wrong. It is, okay, it's on the left. Okay. There we go. And let's see, click. There we go. Perfect. Okay, let me remove this off my hotbar now. Cool, so this guy's gonna need fluids. 
right here, normal fluid inputs. So from here, what we're gonna do, oh, do I have any pipes on me? Oh, yep, I got some. All right, so let's go. We're gonna go this way. And then underneath is going to be our uh, pipe that goes to the sulfuric acid. And then let's see, I believe the, I haven't done this in a while. Normal fluid input, normal fluid input. Okay, we only need one of them. We have power right here. Should we hook it up to the excavator? Hmm, it'll run a little bit slower. I do have power lined up for a future episode, a different form of power. So we'll go harden flux duck down. And then this is the item input, so we're gonna have to go around like this. And this guy's going to get a reinforced filter. Boop boop. Uh, we'll do 64 to be safe. Whitelist, and then I didn't bring any uranium with me, but that's okay. We don't need it just yet. So now we need to route the power over to this guy, which should wrap down here. And then the items over to there. Okay, so let's see. There, there. I rushed a little bit. All right. And let's see. Fluid pipe in. We have power, we have items. We have power and we have sulfuric acid, perfect. So what I definitely wanna set up first before I put the filter in for uranium is we need uh, our pollution to come out and go somewhere a little bit better uh, for us having a brain fart. Let's see. There we go, processing. And we're creating yellow cake, perfect. So with this, now that we created the yellow cake, uh, ooh, yeah, I'll do that in a little bit. Now that we created the yellow cake, the next thing that we're going to work on is going to be uh, automating the high-tech science pack. So yellow science, we already have everything we need to start automating this. So I'm going to end the episode with automating the, uh, the yellow science already. I completely forgot to finish this down here. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, so now that we have the yellow cake up and running, we already have solid fuel since uh, at the very beginning I set it up with gasoline and we had the compactor with coal making blocks of coal. Uh, we already have a full advanced bin of solid fuel. And then the elite control circuits we made together. Uh, we just made yellow cake. This item low density structure is just a standard assembler with plastic, copper plates, and steel plates. So we can program that guy. And then we need an, a, a standard assembler for the science packs itself. Yep, so we need two standard assemblers and we need one advanced laboratory, which I already made. We can put it right here. Let's see, there's two in between, right? Yeah, there's two in between. One, two, right here. Perfect. So we have an advanced laboratory ready. And then did I make a crusher? I believe I have a standard assembler ready. Oh, and while we're here, we have 2048 of the hauler drones as well. Uh, I went ahead and I made the assembler here, create the solar generators, the chests, and the hauler drones. And then uh, this filter has everything inside. Pretty easy. So we have those two. Uh, let me grab one empty bin as well while we're here. There we go. And standard. That's what I thought. 
one of the standard assemblers that I tore down, I uh, put into a capsule. So there we have one standard assembler ready. Good to go. We'll put that guy right here. And then what I've been planning, what I've been wanting to do for quite a while now, but I haven't gotten around to it, is uh, the military packs are actually a lot cheaper. Standard assembler is four concrete. Engineer's workbench is only two. So I wanted to go ahead and since efficiency is important, tear this guy down and then off camera, I was going to uh, set up another one of these automated workbenches. I think we did it like this before because we didn't have the automated workbench unlocked yet. Okay, let's see. So what I can do is I can repurpose this here like that. Where my, there's my slabs other unit, my speed module, and my efficiency module, right? Yeah. There we go. Let's see, what am I... I need everything to be in one area for this blueprint to activate. Alright, let's go. There we go. All right, and it turned like that. There we go, there's our second standard assembler. So one's going to make the low density, low density structure. So I'm gonna set the filters, steel plate, copper plate, plastic sheet, and then I'm gonna set the filters on this guy for elite control circuit, solid fuel, and yellow cake and low density structures. And uh, I'll probably be back before I'm done because of the <laughs> invasion that's on its way. Boop. An alien mega swarm has been detected. That's what I thought. Let's see, let's get into some shenanigans.
And since we're right here, let's go ahead and remove this guy. We have all our drones. There we go. And then we can also remove the one under the sulfuric here with the energy cells. There we go. All right, and that's our second row of endgame challenges done. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll do that another episode because all it is is turning in a thousand of each and uh, the drill starts turning to gather our rewards in that one chunk. Over here what I'm doing is uh, setting the filters and I believe if I connect this guy now it's going to start sending everything required for the low density structures. And then on this side, what I was doing was setting the filters for this guy. We needed one to be solid fuel. We need another one to be the electronic circuit, elite control circuit. We need another one to be the yellow cake, which we just made. And then we need one more. We'll wrap it around here. And this guy will be the low density structure. All right, the pipe is connected. Yep, everything seems good to go. And let's see, have you made one yet? Nope, not yet. It's still sending the items. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up this area here, the way we got it on the other ones as well. Inserter, uh, bin, and then one up, inserter. And then by that time, the items should have fired through. All right, so we have solid fuel. We have elite control circuits, which I had to hook up with a servo. We have yellow cake, which I had to hook up with the servo and lay the impulse pipe. I forgot about that. Uh, we have low density structures right here. Let's grab one. We can set the filter right here. And we'll drop this one guy in here. All right, I went ahead, uh, I had some extra speed modules uh, from repurposing units that I threw into the storage bin up top. Let's see, it's working pretty slow. So we'll have to upgrade the speed module on this guy. But look at that, three, it makes three at a time. Ooh, this guy needs power. Here I thought I was completely done. up to power so that we can get our first yellow science Oop, and I don't think that's gonna reach let's try yeah of course not <laughs> so we need another one of these guys and we need another relay all right Down here and boop nope Go. Now you're working, and we have yellow science automated now, guys. I'm excited. High tech science, so high tech research. The good stuff. All right, just kidding. Uh, I ended up over editing this last episode and uh, cut out a good 45 minutes of me uh, doing things that I thought were not that interesting to watch. So since we have a super duper short episode, I'll finish this episode off with uh, accepting our challenges uh, because that's really the reason why I personally am playing this pack. So let's see the challenges. These are really the test of, uh, of playing and beating the pack. One is progression, since this one has such an unusual way to progress, but also knocking the challenges out. It's always been uh, endgame challenges that have interested me the most. So now that we did that one, this guy should... Oh, do I have to hit claim? Detect, claim. This should be in the chunk right now. So this guy should start. 
producing, right? Let's check it out. Yep, it's in the chunk. And, yeah, we're inside the chunk, so. Hmm, why is this guy not turning? Let's see. Break this, put you back. Break this. Shift boop. It is the correct side. That's weird. Oh well. Let me go ahead and uh, accept the rest of the quest rewards and then I can troubleshoot in a little bit. There we go. And the next one. Advanced control circuits. Detect and claim. Turning yet? Not turning yet. There we go. Okay, well, we made it work. Break it, put it back together. I'm not sure why it stopped working, but there we go. Alright, these guys are going to be easy since they stack in 64s. The problem is going to be the advanced solar generators. There we go. And claim. There we go. Knocking these out, a lot of resources gonna come in. I love it. There we go, and boom. Awesome. And then this one, I'm not gonna torture you guys, they all come out in singles, or I can click a little too hard and break the bin. <laughs> there we go. Because these guys, we can click, and I'm pretty sure the mouse clicking is driving you guys crazy right now. So let me come back when uh, I hit the 1000. Okay, so my pack does not like all of these entities on the ground, so I'm going to start accepting some of these before everything crashes because I really don't want to lose all of these dudes so it'll do it 27 at a time until the lag goes away <laughs> there we go it's picking up now Black spike. Oh no, that was the 600. Oh no, we're losing some, I think, guys. Alrighty, that's a thousand left, so let's see. Hopefully, we didn't lose any during this dance. Wow. Let's see, did I have some in extended inventory, but man, uh, we lost more than 50 pulling them out this way. That sucks. I'm not sure if it was because of derezzing. I don't think that this took five minutes for me to pull out. Definitely not. So uh, spamming them like that uh, does not go one for one into the quest book, unfortunately, when you're picking them up off the ground. So let's see, let's grab 50. Yep, see, we... Okay, five more. One, two, three, four, five. 
All right, there we go. That's the difficult one. And we have that one claimed as well. Wow, look at that. 73,500 iron ore. 40,000 copper ore. That is pretty crazy. Pretty awesome. And this guy is just going to keep on working on our quest rewards. They're all going to get uh, run through the crushers so that they can ore double as well. And then they're going to continue on through this way. Yep. The ores that are uh, not whitelisted will just be thrown onto the conveyor belt and put into here and sent most likely all the way down to our trash bin. So the one thing that I completely did not think about is that uh, there are more resources going through the system now than the silos can handle. So I'm going to have to uh, do a quick uh, workaround to make sure that all of the resources are going to get gathered and not dumped into this random bin here. Everything is going to come through and just be dropped through. Why is there carbon over here? Anyways, we'll call it an episode on that. Thank you so much for joining me today. Smash like if you feel like I earned it, and also click on my dude here to subscribe for more modded Minecraft every Sunday at 11 a.m. I left some videos here for you that I think you might like, but I'm not sure if the buttons work. Could you check and let me know? Do it.